Welcome everybody, welcome to a new video. Today is a spicy one, a different kind of video I guess. I'm going to be talking about a new book I've read. I'm starting reading now, for the first time in like forever. And I read a new book and it was actually really good. Uh, it's probably the second best book I've ever read I would say. Behind Axel Ridge book, which by the way I never talked about that. That was a really good book. It was actually really sad as well. Like, in the movie, you know, it ends as he's floating away. And then the book just carries on, he just it's just life gets his life just gets worse and worse. Like he he becomes ill and he has to go to the hospital and he doesn't see his son for years. Or he can't pick up his son for years. Oh there's a one. Mm. Oh, it's a little one. Oh, okay. Um yeah, I mean he can't see his son for years and then like eventually he's driving along and then he like crashes and his wife dies and it's like it's just really sad. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very good book. Um, basically, it's called One Nun and a Hundred Thousand. It was written in... Wrote? It was written? It was wrote. It was wrote... It was written in 1926. It was a very spicy book. Uh, I'm just getting the quotes, because I had three quotes that I wrote down, and then I kind of stopped doing it. But basically, the book is about a guy who realises... Everyone sees him differently, right? So he has this portrayal of who he thinks he is in his mind. And then he realises that not only does no one see him as that, every single person sees him as something different, right? So I won't go into the details of, like, what happens. I don't want to ruin the ending for you. But it's very interesting. Like, it starts off with his wife, and he stood in the mirror, and he's picking, like, the hairs of his nose and stuff. And his wife's fast to him with, um, he's trying to sort out... Oh, there's the flight again. Hang on. Got it. Um, the wife asked him if he's trying to sort out the fact that one, uh, one nostril hangs lower than the other. And he's like, what? No, it doesn't. And she's like, yeah, it does. Look. And when he looks and he realises it does. And then he's kind of perplexed that he's had 28 years of life and he's never realised that his nostril is, is, you know, not the same size. He asks her what she notices about him. And then she, she like points out like 12 different things, right, his eyebrows and his hands and his arms. So when he realises like, oh damn, like, I'm, to her I'm a completely different person. So then he goes and asks his friend, and his friend also says the same thing. And it, it just leads into this guy realising that like, he doesn't know the real uh, gene, right, that we call him gene. It's like, Zhenge or something, but I call him gene. He doesn't know the real gene. This gene imposter has been walking around pretending to be him kind of thing. And he sees the person everyone sees him as, as a very different person to himself. And like, it's very interesting how it does it because it talks about like, him not knowing gene, but like, you know, he is gene, but he's not gene. It's, it's really well done. And I will say it didn't, there is a bit in the, like the middle bit, the middle section is a bit not as good as I was expecting because I was hoping they were going to capitalise on that and be, you know, they would go to little different people and then you'd see how differently they they saw him. But um, and a good example is that he went to um, back to his wife and her friend was there and he realised there was like nine different versions of people there all pretending to be three people together. You know, there was how his wife saw him, how he saw himself, how his wife's friend saw him. How her wife saw himself, how he saw his wife, how her friend saw his wife. It all, it was diff nine different personalities, all pretending to be three people. And it was, it was just, it's just really well explained. And it makes you go, like, ponder, like, oh, I wonder how everyone sees me. But yeah, the three, um, the three quotes I did, I did read, and I was like, oh, I need to keep track of that. Um, the first one, it says, it's written, it's written in the uh, first person, so it says, My expression of rage, for instance, would not be the same to one who feared it, to another d disposed to excuse it, and a third inclined to smile at it, and so on. Which I think is really interesting to think about. Like, Someone being angry, someone sees that as, oh, that's scary, and another sees that as a funny thing. You know, everyone sees you as a different person. Um, another thing was... um. For others, then, I am that stranger who I am surprised in a mirror. Basically, he sees himself in a mirror and he's surprised that he's walking along. Do do. He looks over, just happens to see himself in a mirror, 
And for a split second, he doesn't recognize who it is. And then he realizes, he realizes like, wait, that's me? That's who I'm meant to be? And then that's why he's like, he, the person he sees in mirrors isn't someone he actually knows. Anyway, so for others then, I am that stranger whom I surprised in a mirror. I am. My phone lost some storage, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Um, so, next quote is, for others then, I am that stranger whom I surprised in a mirror. I am he, and not the whom I know. So he's saying, well, I am this person, and not the person I, I know I am. I am the one, I am the one there, whom I myself at first, upon becoming aware of him, did not recognise. Which is interesting, very interesting. Last quote I picked out, there's there a lot of quotes like this that really made you like, oh snap, but this was the last one I actually wrote down. Um, he was to me who I was to others, not being seen and, oh wait, uh, he was to me who I was to others. I could not see him and yet he, no one else could see me. Boom, that was a good one. I liked that one, that was a very spicy one. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm glad I read this book. I was looking forward to it for a long, long time. Um, there is parts of it where you can tell it was writ it was wrote, it was written in 1926. There was definitely parts of it you could just you just knew, but in general, the whole book is very interesting. Like he ends up kicking the dog. It basically go he goes insane, because his plan is to instead of just living on with this, he wants to become one person. Just everyone sees him as one. So because of that, he first has to like destroy every single person everyone sees him as. So he just he goes crazy, but not intentionally, and like he ends up kicking the dog and stuff. It's kind of funny. I mean, he ends up. Oh, I can't say. I can't say. But something spicy happens at the end. But um, oh, what was the other bit that I really liked? Um, oh, it was one interesting thing they talked about is like he goes to his wife. And his wife has, like, her hair caught up. And he realises, like, she's doing that because she thinks that he prefers it that way. When he doesn't, he doesn't even like it that way. So he's like, hey, why are you doing your hair like that? And she's like, oh, Gene, you prefer it when I do this. And he's like, no, I don't. And she, like, laughs. And he's like, why is she not getting it? Like, she's doing it. She doesn't like doing it because it takes a lot of time. She's doing it because I think I like it. I don't like it. Like, why is she doing this? It's a, it's a very It's very interesting to read. Um, it was a very good book. I plan to read at least 12 books this year, hopefully. And I just wanted to make a quick video talking about my first book. Because it was I've been waiting for this for so long. Like, I saw it a couple months ago, and I was like, I need to get that book. And then I got it for Christmas, luckily. So, it was a very good read. Some bits were difficult. But overall, the core concept, I did like it a lot, I would say. Um, I would recommend you read it. Boom. It is by... This guy, Luigi someone. He's from Italy. He's from Italy. But yeah, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I would rate it a solid a solid eight out of ten, I think. An eight out of ten is reasonable. Thank you for watching guys. I've been Jonas. I'll see you next time. Bye. Spoiler alert, my next book is a very spicy one. I don't know anything about it other than the fact it was writ it was wrote. It was written. I really don't know which one it's meant to be. It was wrote. No, that doesn't make sense. It was written by someone who used to work on Friends. And boom, there is my book. It's like about actually what happened on Friends and stuff, I think. It's about like the cast and who they liked and stories and stuff. I hope so anyway, I think it is. But yeah, spoiler alert, this is my next book review. Boom. Bye.